good evening, Cy and Dr. Grady. I've never really understood how the Neanderthals uh, could be offspring from Adam and Eve. Also, is it possible either Adam and Eve was black or should I say the person of color? They all seem such, uh, such a stretch from how they are portrayed in super books. Many thanks and God bless from Elaine. Well, Elaine, first of all, Adam and Eve were not lily white and they were not uh, absolutely black. They were medium brown, they were olive skinned, uh, what we could say halfway between white and black. But their genetics allowed through mixing of their children and grandchildren to go very light or very dark. Uh, the only people that don't have color at all are albinos, and that's where the genetic information has been destroyed or, or is not expressed. Um, now, in terms of the Neanderthals, uh, what you might have learned about them, and I don't know how old you are, but I'm simply saying uh, the, the schools do not teach the Neanderthals correctly even today, much less 30 years ago, 50 years ago. Neanderthals were and are 100% human. We have extracted DNA from a finger bone, from a tooth root, and so forth. We know their DNA. And they had language, art, music, they made jewelry, they were religious, they did hunt and gather, that's true, but seven years ago we found out that they also farmed, and more recently we found out that they actually built houses, they didn't just live in caves. So most recent discovery, which is important technologically, is that they found out how to make a very good adhesive from birch bark. Now that may seem simplistic to you and me today, but that is a serious advancement in technology because it allowed them to make very effective spears and arrows and that type of thing as well. So instruments for not only hunting, but also for farming. And so they were 100% human. Uh, genetically, they are less different from us than we are from ourselves. Humans vary by four and a half percent in their DNA but Neanderthals are only 0.3% different than the norm today, as they fit well within the human range. So they were absolutely humans. They are not prehumans. They're not subhumans. They're not gorillas. They are human beings, homo sapiens.